Hey, you guys, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. We have Mesa Hilton, one of Diddy's B A B Y M A M A, lashed out at federal agents using militarized force doing a raid at Diddy's. Remember the raid last week? Mm hmm. Well, 11 days ago. Mm hmm. Well, she shared surveillance camera footage of Homeland Security agents raiding. Diddy's home and arresting her son, Justin Combs. The video shows a dozen agents armed with assault rifles going room to room inside the house. And you can see one agent disabled a camera before entering the house. That's because they knew Diddy was watching and they wanted to cut that out. Rightfully so. So the agents forced Justin Combs Christian Combs, Christian Combs' girlfriend, I forgot her name, Ravenous, Ravenous, whatever, and some other people outside at gunpoint. So this is what Misa had to say about it. The overzealous and overtly militarized force used against my son, Justin, and Christian is deplorable. If these were the sons of a non-black celebrity, here we go, they would not have been handled with the same aggression. The attempt to humiliate and terrorize these innocent young black men is despicable. Oh my goodness, my goodness. She continued to say, enough is enough. Did Justin need several laser beams from firearms pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a gun pointed at the back of his head while he was handcuffed? How many times have we seen young, unarmed black men not make it out of these types of situations alive? Do you hear this mess? Do you hear this mess? And the crazy thing is, someone came forward alleging she was D R U G G E D and R, you know, the R word, by Justin Combs. Her name is Grace Omaki. She's a yacht steward. I will do a video on that. But right now, we're going to focus on Misa Hilton. Misa Hilton is deflecting. She is so deflecting. Your son is being accused of all these things? And the and then what you're worrying about is him being forced out at gunpoint? That should be the least of your worries, Mr. Hilton. Your son is a criminal, according to the lawsuit. And wasn't it just last year she was threatening to expose Diddy? She was calling him out in his ways? Yeah, we have all of that. I will show you guys all of that. But let me just tell you guys a little background on Misa. Misa Hilton was hired by Diddy when she was just in high school. He was an a &R at Uptown Records. He was in charge of putting together the album musically for Jodeci and I guess their look. So he hired Misa for that. He hired Misa to work on their style pretty much. And she was in high school, and he's what? He's four or five? No, he's four years older than her. So if she's in high school, that means he was, you know, if she's 16, he had to be at least, let's see, 20. If she was 15, he had to be like 19. You know, he said she would leave high school early to go and be his assistant because they were dating at the time. She was fresh in high school when they were dating. So he was dating her when he was an intern and when he was hired as an A&R at Uptown Records, he took her with him to be, you know, to become his assistant. So they were dating way before that. So do the math. He's four years older than she is, okay? And then she got pregnant with Justin and I guess they broke up because he did not want to settle down. He was not trying to settle down. His fame was taking off, so he was like, peace out. That's crazy. He said they had their ups and downs. They had fights. Of course they did. And she said they had their rough patches. And she said they were really close at one time, and they're really good friends. Yeah, uh-huh. I heard he would knock her out. He would beat the living daylight out of her.
she went through hell with this guy, Diddy. But that's still not gonna, we're not gonna excuse her behavior, okay? Misa knew everything that was going on with Diddy and her son. You understand? She tried to expose, she threatened to expose him. I'm going to get to that in a minute. But let me say, she is very, very close with Mary J. Blodge. Till this day, these two, the things that they've done, the things that they've seen, my goodness, Misa, oh jeez, Misa was in the room with Mary J. Blodge. Mary J. Blodge, you know what, I'm going to save that, that one for the Mary J. Blodge video that I'm going to make. My goodness, Misa, anyway, Misa dated Suge Knight. Okay, so Misa is used to criminal men. She had no money. Diddy did not want to give her no child support, anything. And he was big. He was making money. And he did not support her. He did not support Justin. So guess what? Shook Knight had to, you know, had to come through when they were dating. He had to, you know, help her out. Now, we know why Shook Knight did what he did because there was an East Coast and West Coast beef going on, remember? So, of course, he saw an opportunity. I think he said he didn't really like her like that, but since Diddy was his enemy at the time, you know, he did what he did, you know? He got with her and everything, and yeah. And you see a picture of Justin uh, when he was, I don't know, maybe three, three or four years old, maybe two. And you see Justin and Suge Knight playing. Yeah, Suge Knight released a picture of him playing with Justin when Justin was either two or three years old. So that's wild, right? It's like the same thing with the whole Tupac and Faith Evans and Biggie. So you see, <laughs> it's like, they, geez, geez, okay. So Justin Combs was arrested and charged with a misdemeanor for DUI. And this was June 2023. She was so pissed that she even, listen, listen. She said, how do you go from one of the greatest to ever do it to making all your money off alcohol and suing the damn alcohol company? Sell something healthy that builds people up. I'm sick of it. Not mines with a S. Not not mines. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, she was referring to Diddy's lawsuit against Diageo. You know, the alcohol company he partnered with to become the face of Ciroc in 2007. People thought it was his, but it really wasn't his brand. This was Diageo's brand. And they partnered again in 2013 to launch De Leon. And, and he's suing them, you know, for racial discrimination, blah, 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 blah. See, even Misa finds the whole Diddy's lawsuit against Diageo ridiculous. She said, how do you go to making all of your money off alcohol and suing the damn alcohol company on top of that? So Justin was busted for running a red light at 8 in the morning and on a Easy like Sunday morning. What in the world? Mesa was pissed, you guys. She was pissed. I don't know why. Seemed like fake outrage because she know. She know how they get down. She know how they get down. She know how her sons get down. If all these people knew about how did he get down and everything, you don't think she knew about all these things that were going on with her son? Please. So she went on a rant on Instagram, and here are some of the things she said. I'm not protecting no one anymore, just my son and all the children. I love a come to Jesus moment. The statement, a fish rots from the head down, means that in addition to being a major contributing factor in a family or organization's success, leadership is also the root cause of its failure and demise. The truth shall set you free. Hmm. Act bad. Act bad. 
bad boy? I used to want to be a bad girl. I chose to be a queen, tried and true. I'm not perfect, but I am intentional. Everyone has to sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you. This where the buck stops for me. Hmm. I'm not with none of that reality TV-ish. When is enough enough? Yeah, okay. I should have kept my child with me. F U C L A too. Everybody can get it. Oh my goodness. How you go from one of the greatest to ever do it to making all your money off alcohol and suing the damn alcohol company? Sell something healthy that builds people up. I'm sick of it. Not mine. Everyone has to sit around for years and act like there isn't anything wrong with you. This where the buck stops for me. If anything ever happened to my son, God forbid, what is anyone going to say to me? When we all know whose fault it would be. And Christina, if you ever try to handle me again, I will go straight across your head. Wow. Stay out of the way. You are a nice person. Everyone is tough until it's time to be tough. I do realize clarity and context are important. You want to do reality TV? Okay, let's be real. You want to do reality TV? Okay, let's be real then. Let's lay it all out. Then, starting from the top. Whoa. You want to do reality TV? Okay, let's be real then. Let's lay it all out then, starting from the top. You see? You see what I'm saying? She was threatening to expose this guy just last year. And now, when she, it hits the fan, now it's she wants to deflect. She wants to deflect in making this whole raid a racial thing. Like, seriously. Let me point something out to you guys. The part where she said, and Christina, if you ever try to handle me again, I will go straight across your head. Stay out the way. She's talking about Christina, Diddy's chief of staff, and the SEX trafficking lawsuit. They say she is the Ghislaine Maxwell to Diddy's Jeffrey. I'm saying, mm-hmm. That's Christina. That one, Christina Coram, something like that. But here's the thing. Misa made up with Diddy shortly after that whole freaking rent. All that rent, and she made up with him. I guess he cut her a check. Gotta be. I mean, come on. He knows how to keep these people in check. Money, 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 money. They love money, these people. So she left a positive comment on one of his posts. And he wrote, I love you, queen. Stay in the light. <laughs> Stay in the light, but he's in the dark. He's darkness. But okay, this is crazy to me. This was all PR cleaning. He wrote her a check. And she's like, okay, I can go under your post and leave something nice. And then he hit her up with the queen. <laughs> queen will do it all the time. Call a black woman a queen. They go crazy. <laughs> so stop deflecting, Misa. You know what's going on. You know what type of man your baby daddy is. You know he's a wicked, wicked individual. You were ready to expose him just last year. And now... Now it's, oh my goodness, the raid, they was so aggressive. Oh my goodness, making it a race thing when it's not. Focus, Misa. Yeah, I'm sure you're afraid now. I'm sure you're afraid now because things might come out about you now. So you want to like be on his side now and want to change the whole focus. No, 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 no. Your son is a criminal. According to the lawsuit, he's a criminal and he needs to be locked up. And another thing, what's with some black people determined to make this about Diddy being an innocent black man that they're just trying to take down and destroy, so leave him alone and just forget about all the evil-ish he's been doing to black people 
and getting away with for decades. But because another white guy hasn't been prosecuted yet for his crime, so that means Diddy should get a pass. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I've heard people say, Oh, I don't care. I don't care. He's not the only one. When such and such get in trouble, then I'll care. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Stay on topic. Stop deflecting. We already know. He's not the only sick piece of ish out there. It has nothing to do with him being black. But right now, it's his turn. His time's up. Just be thankful none of the victims were your loved ones. I bet you would be singing a different tune then. It's crazy to me because a white man did not get, you know, get his dues yet. So therefore, it's okay to let Diddy keep doing his nastiness, his evilness, his wickedness. Are you? Oh my goodness, it pisses me off. It really pisses me off when people think like that. He should get away with the R-wording people, M-wording people, S-African people, and all that other hideous ish he has done because some white man got away with it? Really? Are you kidding me? Trying to turn perpetrators into a victims? No, 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 no. It's crazy. You guys are crazy. You guys are delusional. People who think like that, oh my gosh turning perpetrators into victims victims my gosh as if harvey weinstein isn't in jail right now as if jeffrey epstein wasn't arrested and you know are you kidding me so many evil is evil doesn't matter what color you are. You should want justice for everyone. You should want everyone who's done nasty things to people, evil things to kids. You should want them locked up, no matter the skin color. But no, if this white guy is not getting locked up, then this one should should be roaming free and do, oh gosh. And let me say, I don't just fault the sickos, I fault everyone who interacted with them consistently. Birds of a feather. Birds of a freaking feather. You know the rest. Okay? All those people are just as gross and should be charged for aiding and abetting. You understand? Hopefully they drive all these a-holes out of influence in any industry and into poverty since they were making people's lives a nightmare. They weren't worthy of their position as businessmen, constantly promoting bad behavior, murder, drugs, grooming girls and boys, hypersexualization of everything with no limit, strippers, prostitution of women and men to the black community, especially children, using power to get whores in positions they didn't belong, blackmailing men with whores and destroying the careers of so many blacks who just wanted a chance to be in the entertainment industry promoting unrealistic materialism and fake lifestyles they didn't really have to young black boys and girls leading them astray and getting them to do things that destroy lives i mean seriously ah <sighs> so misa you failed your son you failed your son so i don't want to hear you deflect okay you you chose money over his well-being you could have had custody, you know, but no, you let him be with this, this monster. And then you almost exposed him just last year. And then now it's like, oh, let's make this a racist thing. Let's no, 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 no. We're going to focus. We're going to focus on your baby daddy and we're going to focus on your son and everyone who's doing nasty, evil, wicked stuff. They all will be exposed. And we are going to shed lights. Evil will never win. Don't you guys get that? Evil will never win. Not for long. No. Okay? If this is God's work, oh my goodness. Get ready. Get ready. 
You won't, this is just the beginning, okay? <sighs> Thank you guys for tuning in. Leave your thoughts down below, please. I would love to hear. What do you think of all this? Oh, he's a black man. Leave him alone until this white guy get his due. Then, you know, like, leave your thoughts down below. <laughs> because it's just... Well, <laughs> let me stop. I'm like, oh, you know? Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, please share. Please subscribe for more. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.